On this episode of Make Me a Sandwich, we visit co-creator... There he is! Jeff Jeremy Jeremy Spector. Spector. And grill him about the world's best hamburger. A burger so good that food deity Guy Fieri called it... Dynamite! We get the beef on his beef, tips on how to melt cheese, and what kind of buns he's into. So... What are we doing? We're making a burger. Seventy thirty blend, twenty five percent aged meat, sixty five percent fresh meat, and then it added ten percent soup. What? Better check the beef chart. So this is the beef chart. Beef, beef chart. chart. Right here, where this number three is, you buy this piece of meat, you're actually getting ribeyes. Mm. You're getting that in your burger, and this is a really heavily flavored piece of meat. A lot of butchers will actually just save this because it's almost like a tenderloin, and it's really delicious. And when this piece of meat is aged. It is absolutely incredible. You're getting so passionate. You can smell it. You can. It smells like salami almost. Yeah. Yeah. It gives you the complexity and it gives you a depth of flavor, but it doesn't take over the flavor of the burger. It's still what you think a burger should be. Right. Shape it back up a little bit again, flatten it out so you get a large surface area where it's going to sear. The contrast in the outer layer of crispiness and the inner layer of softness also is a certain sort of like uniqueness to the bird. Wow, you're a fucking poet. <laughs> <laughs> so we got our cast iron pan, beautifully seasoned. We want to get it searing hot. This thing should be scraped. The way you know it's ready is when it's completely cleaned of all the oil and you start to see smoke coming out of it anyway. I see smoke. You see smoke? That's how you know that it's ready. That's a good trick. Hit it. Oh! Scrape it. It's like you want to turn down the volume because the porn is too loud. <laughs> Your neighbors are going to start to wonder. What are you laughing at? Because <laughs> you know it's sexy. Oh man, and you smell it right away. Yeah. Woo! And there's no oil in here or anything. It, the, the, the burger's gonna give off enough oil. It's gonna give off enough fat to cook. The exact opposite of a forming grill. And I'll let this go for another minute, and the grease will almost just start to catch fire a little bit. And that's when I know that like, the temperature's just right to throw it in the oven for a minute. And in the meantime, I'm gonna put our Plain old regular white bun, nothing special. This burger is about the meat, not about the bread. Check the bottom. You're getting the back part of the burger. Do that again. <laughs> <laughs> Take it. Perfect. Burger out, back on the plate. Check it. Nice here. Good. I want to melt this cheese and I don't have a salamander. So the best way to melt the cheese, put the cheese on the hot side of the burger. I have these caramelized onions here, the moisture on them. I'm going to put them in the pan. So we have a lot of steam coming up right now from the onions. We have a, a hot burger. I'm just going to put the top on it just like so. So now I'm sort of like encapsulating the steam and it's going to melt the cheese really nice. And voila. We need a couple of pickles on this plate. And after 45 seconds, so oh, we have a really perfectly melted cheese here. Yes, you caramelized do. onions. Oh, see the bread to meat ratio. This is about meat, not about a brioche bun. You're supposed to eat the meat, so the bun keeps your hands clean. The quintessential cheese for a burger, really, in my opinion, is American cheese. It melts perfectly. It's not strong enough, it doesn't overwhelm the flavor of the meat. And it also relates to people's sensory memory. We have cheddar, we have blue cheese, and people like that on their burger, but I like it with American. That's it. That's it. That's all there is. That's all there is. It is the world's greatest burger. I think so. Let's bring it outside and eat it. Okay, do me fair, just slide it in there. Yep. Perfect. This outer part of the ribeye has definitely, I can't remember, there's a scientific name for it. It's, I think it starts with an S. Just, why don't you just move your mouth and I'll put it in post. It's called the what? It's called the 
No, but you gotta move your mouse like with the words. Oh, okay. Like, it's, it's called this Spinalis Dorsey. Perfect. <laughs> <laughs> Who's this guy on the wall? I don't know. Oh, lie, make up a story. This is Dean's grandfather. <laughs> <laughs> the man loved meat. How famous is that burger? Uh, this burger is pretty world famous. We have people literally come from all over the world. Hey, eat this burger. How do they take pictures with you? The tourists will come in, take pictures with me, <laughs> eat this burger. I am not shitting you. <laughs>